For nearly three decades, Eric Ungaro has been a teacher and high school football coach here in the Valley. And that experience has given him a very unique and very personal perspective into the opioid crisis. So when the publishers of this new book, Not Far From Me, were looking for first-hand testimony here in Ohio, Ungaro had plenty to offer. There's not many people that could talk about the late 80s, early 90s. When you're coaching the inner city, uh, and, and again, you know, it was more violence driven. You know, you weren't really like ODing from crack, say, but you know, there was the, the bloods, the crips, there was, there was a lot of violence going on in the city. So you're right, it was easy for most of America, call it what it is, white America, to say, well, you know, just don't go down on Park and Griffith. Like, if you just don't go there, you're not going to get involved. But the problem spread to the suburbs and hit closer to home. Ungaro had two uncles die from an overdose and then watched as his brother Sean lost his battle with addiction in 2012. That's when he got involved. So, and I just figured, let me kind of go this direction because at the time it wasn't cool to talk about this. Make no mistake about it. You know, this is only seven years ago. You're not talking about 70 years. It wasn't cool to talk about, oh, you know, my brother died of an overdose. They were considered bums. Ungaro is now talking about it every day as part of the Mahoning County Mental Health and Recovery Board. He's chairman of the Red Zone and a Poland Township trustee. And that unique perspective is what adds to the book. And then really now I'm in a suburban setting where you're seeing these kids come to school because their parents are dying. You know, their uncles are dying. Uh, so, you know, it's been through the whole gamut. Uh, and, I, you know, I'm just proud to talk about it. And, and, you know, that's what the title is, you know, Standing Proud. Because you have to. You got to give people just at least a chance to stand up and address their issues. For Sports Team 27, I'm Ryan Allison.